it's that time again. Time to zoom out the camera a bit. Yep, that's the time indeed. There we go, that goes up a bit there. Oh, come on, mate. There we go. It's important to have the camera vertically aligned. Uh, although that's not quite head to head, is it? <clears throat> Simply because you can almost see the uh, scan lines, eh? otherwise, a bit fucked at 480p. And I'm going to blame Microsoft for that because they're a uh, shit 29 frames per second uh, format for. Uh... Oh, now I can't see the bloody TV. Ah, come on, mate. <sighs> Go, that's a bit better for me. You probably shouldn't do it that way. There we go. Right, so is that uh is that the file browser we do? Yeah, good good. Oh, it's looking alright on the camera. It's not too bad actually. So so I go back to Mr. Computer Software. We've done uh, Mario's Brewery. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we did add the extra one. So uh, the other two was uh, Pub Jumper Mario and Firefight Mario. So I'll go Firefight Mario there. Little Mario the Fatty. Only two today. <laughs> yeah, I never really uh, comment on your music too much. Not for the crack trolls. We're here for the game. Uh, yeah, okay. Quite a start, good. Okay, well, I'll press fire on joystick port 2. So water kills a fireman, his fire engine is the size of him, so it's one of those children's fire engines, you know, the rechargeable electric shits for like, I don't know, 500 quid or whatever they are. Hey, you're going to think this is weird, but this is a lot like Vanguard. Uh, two flames got me and the water. It's a bit weird that your fire truck was destroyed by water. Maybe it's acid rain. Who knows? We're not going to get very far in this game. I might have to reload it with the trainers. Oh Jesus God, you can't touch anything except the, uh, the grey dots on the floor, whatever they are. Well, I thought you could touch them. It definitely isn't a game whilst to play while smoking, that's for sure. Maybe it was just terrible collision. It is. This game is unplayable. Because you've got them, 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 on top of trying to shoot them. And you can't shoot diagonally either. I don't know if you can move diagonally. Let's have a look. No, and you can't move diagonally either, so... We're going to have to play that for a bit longer. 
pad out the channel with filler works for the Patreon pricks anyway. Have you noticed how little their output is? So what if they use a video editor? I can do uh, just as fancy effects. I can do TV quality effects on a video editor. I choose not to do that. Just like Seinfeld chooses not to run. Unless there's a fit girl involved. So if there was a fit girl involved, we might actually uh, do... Yeah, anyway. Where's my bloody coffee? Maybe that'll help the situation. We've got full caffeine going on here. We're having uh, English instant coffee now, which is uh, one teaspoon of coffee in a mug of water. Unlike American instant coffee, which is one eighth of a teaspoon. Uh, use joystick directions or cursor keys to select fire or spaces. Right, okay. Well, the cursor keys are not actually working. Uh, usually that's uh, enable joy keys on Win Vice, but I uh, oh, look. Ah, invincibility. Right, okay. There's no need for anything else. So if we run out of water. Right, well, that's a uh, Penini sticker. Or Felixina, or Claudia, as you know her. My cats have many names. Yeah, you come and sit on the uh, TV. Come on in. That's a weird thing. Killer will not fight back. Well, definitely not fight back against any of the female cats. And. Uh, well, he's one of the male cats, so there's only two other male cats. And uh, the other one, uh, he will stand his ground. But as far as his daddy goes, which he doesn't know is his daddy, no cat will ever know who their father is, and no cat will ever, male cat will ever know who his children are. They just don't know. So we're we ready to start the game. So, where's my water? I can't actually see anything that shows me how much water I've got. So yeah, it is kind of like playing uh, Vanguard. Ah, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> so you got to put him out. So a bit of Phoenix as well. Here we go. So uh, probably another world exclusive no one gives a shit about on my channel. Now technically you should say well you should get a Facebook page and a uh, Twitter account and blah 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 and uh, push the channel real hard. But uh, I don't know it's completely different. It is like Vanguard. Because you've got diagonal bits, vertical and horizontal scrolling bits. Maybe I have to shoot a certain... Alright, can I catch the water? How do I get more water then? Well, it's a bit crap. Yeah, fuck me. Someone saw Vanguard. See, these little round things are... They are in Vanguard. Vanguard is one of the most impressive uh, VCS games. I ever had. There we go. That's very interesting. Very interesting game. It's not a good game. It's interesting that after, uh, oh fuck me, how many, I think it was early 80s when I used to play Vanguard in the kebab shop. I think it was a kebab shop. May not have been though. So if you don't shoot enough. So yeah, again, vertical status panel means this lot here cannot be hardware scrolling. So that's a massive uh, point lost for that. Either have no stats on the screen. 
or do them uh, horizontally and do a raster split for the uh, scroll registers. Split screen. That was more split fanny than uh, split screen uh, scrolling. Where's the other one gone? Uh, let's do uh, the other Mario game. Which uh, in 8-bit terms in the UK is just as relevant to uh, the three or four copies of uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 sold in the UK. People weren't interested in the NES in the UK. It was like, I got you something to play games on. Did you get me an Amiga? No son, we can't afford that. Did you get me an Atari ST? Now remember... Lotus 2 on the Atari ST is better than any 8-bit racing game will ever be. I don't like Dungeon Master, but I suppose you could say that. But Thrust on the C64 is better than Oids on the ST. Or Mac. I think it's black and white on the Mac. Uh, trying to think, late, late 80s, you wouldn't want a C64. Because the games that were on sale in most of the shops were, were late 80s C64 games. Cracked by laxatives. Now, I have actually lost my CRT glasses. I haven't got a clue where I put them. You know that. I did put them somewhere safe, but... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. We're going to have to get one of the cats out. Hang on a minute. Uh, you know what? Maybe we can just work it out. Yeah, that's not the original uh, graphic for this 1983 game at all. I don't agree with... Uh... Well, actually, in the case of games I didn't have, I don't really care, if I'm honest. Yes. Yes, one beer to level up. Roadhouse, badass, yes. Space to level skip, yes. Keep gears when killed. I don't know what any of this means. So that's the joystick port 2 now. So the status panel is exactly the same. So it's a rubbish Popeye clone. So we've had Vanguard and a, another Popeye clone. Do you have to punch them bottles? I don't know how. really weird playing these games all oh, right so there's no animation for like Mario so I, I don't know who that's meant to be then if that's Mario they should have done it as Donkey Kong perhaps he didn't have Donkey Kong in his local arcade so yeah he's um, he's worse than my version of Popeye would have turned out that I was trying to write in uh, basic before Laser Basic came out. I remember drawing the uh, first level as best I could from memory uh, using the uh, Petski graphics as a, a reference. Because you had the hearts, you had all the, uh, you know, the reverse spaces for the uh, stairs. So I wouldn't want to play this game without the, ooh, without the uh, cheats, I was going to say. So that's the funny thing. I don't know, mind you, they probably made fuck all money off this game. I never even heard of this software house. So you get the beer instead of spinach. So Mario's an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic Italian. I don't think Italians are well known for drinking beer though. 
Oh shit, I can't go down. So you can only go up on them. Right, end of review for that one. So that's the uh, funny fucker Mario games done and dusted. Mario's Brewery is on the other video, which uh, it is edited, but it hasn't been rendered yet because it's an hour long. So, seeing as uh, I'm not going to be putting them three together, because uh, that's even more effort for me. And uh, the people that do watch this channel, they're not going to give a shit about that. Alright. Now this noise is me rubbing my hands because my hands get cold. Just so you know, there's nothing dirty going on. Yeah, now, have I got any reading glasses here? Now we've got the broken uh, Joe 90 uh, pound shop reading glasses here. Right, this, uh, this has been a long time coming. And... Uh, and we're going to have to swap the SD cards over now. Yeah, that's one from the camera. That's for emergency uh, transfer. Because like an idiot, yesterday I forgot to uh, copy the um, <clears throat> the extra Mario games onto the uh, Mr. Computer Software archive. So, let's uh, reload the drive. Now oh, these glasses are a bit shit, so I don't actually need these uh, reading glasses. Not, not so much for the screen. Ah, we could try these out. So, uh, right, so we've got DJ Puff, Frankenstein Jr., Ghost Hunters. Yeah, we could have a bit of a Codemasters field day. <clears throat> now, after, uh, you know, a few comments, uh, on uh, Fist Plus and uh, IK Plus. Uh, it seems to me it's uh, be a good idea for me to play Way of the Exploding Fist and uh, Data East Karate Champ. Uh, the translation of that is uh, Way way of the Open Hand. So yeah, and uh, some of the moves although the graphic style is completely different and far inferior on the arcade game uh, to way of the exploding fist uh, fighting characters as are the sound effects which are taken from uh, a particular Bruce Lee movie I can't remember if it's the big boss or enter the dragon but the sound effects for uh, way of the exploding fist on the C64 they are actually really low quality samples but they are samples uh, and it is Enter the Dragon, the uh, screech that Bruce Lee does on the title page. So, um, so we've got this back. So uh, you know, I probably fucked up the uh, Codemasters directory. There we go. Because um, uh, these directories are not really finished wasn't planning on going back to the uh, SD to IEC but um, too many minutes of each video were actually just stuff not not loading uh, yeah right okay spell band is in there right, okay so those are the games we want right. so, uh, I bet I haven't put them in there Yeah, DJ Puffs. Something called Rubber. DJ Puffs VC, but there's nothing written on the case there. <coughs> there is the case, DJ Puff. New release, apparently. Well, not anymore, mate. But that's not their fault. We can't mark them down for that. Captain Crip, spelled K R I double P. Uh, has nicked Puff's CD collection. Ooh, that's uh, very on topic for the late 80s, which I presume is when this came out. Grab them back, but beware. Aztec, right, Aztec Indians. Is that a spell? Ginormous, ginormous jelly, snapper fish, and boggle eyed big birds. Mega smashing or what, mate? 
raving music. Now there was, uh, I think it was Code Master. It was called Steg the Slug. Now I haven't put it in there. What a knob! Well, actually, see if we got. Uh, yeah, we ain't got Ghost Chaser in there either. I can't remember what arcade flight simulator is. Yeah, there's nothing there. So I don't think Frankenstein was in there. No, there's no Frankenstein. Uh, such a pain in the ass creating these uh, things like this. Actually, Frankenstein, this copy of Frankenstein Jr. is for the Spectrum. Maybe it didn't come out on the C64. These could be uh, Amstrad screenshots on the back. Actually, they're very colourful, so they probably are. I'm going to have to go and... Um, so, we could play CJ and DJ. The CJ and DJ face-off. And you can, uh, if you've seen that final episode of Phone Shop in Season 3, with the uh, music vis video business going on, with a uh, new man then uh, you get the idea of how I would present that if my channel had a million subscribers. Now if you think how much money uh, people like 8-Bit Guy are actually earning, especially Nostalgia, you know, he's a biggest loser, they don't actually do fuck all considering how much money is coming in. All they do is literally just pay their mortgage, build some huge fucking, uh, you know, building to store all their shit, probably because their wife won't let it in the house anymore. They get loads of stuff given to them free, like a Mega 65 development kit, which is probably worth about 400 quid. Oof, won't be buying one of them, mate. You can forget that. There are many, many Commodore experts, 8-bit, Commodore, specifically the C64, let's be honest, uh, who could have received one of those, and they probably would have uh, done more than one 20 minute useless video, his video was absolutely shit anyway, didn't even tell you that the uh, VIC-3 chip has a blitter chip built into it, no, didn't bother to tell you that, let alone explain the uh, really weird way in which you have to draw the graphics, which is uh, neither character-based mode nor uh, Amiga bit planes. It's like a weird something in between. So, and the CPU is very similar to the one inside the uh, SNES. I can't remember. I think it's four megahertz as well. But I won't be buying a Mega 65. Now, if I take these uh, reading glasses off, I might be able to actually fucking see right infinite lives. That's your only trainer option. I'm going to say no with that because... Oh. We'll just say no to everything now. Right, so arrow back level shit. Press the space bar. <coughs> no lights on the SD to AC. So it's all loaded up. Yeah. I think we need to up the brightness a bit on the TV. Give it the full budget TV say show quality. Yeah, my eyes are not great today, but um, the graphics are very colourful. A bit slow on the movement, but no slower than Mario, so... Ooh. The jump controls are actually okay. He says... And they're shooting, which is always good. <laughs> right, when this game came out, I was like... Legally smoking, drinking, blah blah blah, driving. So, probably for a few years, I would have thought I don't know when this game came out exactly, but this is a late 80s game, maybe even early 90s.
So this one is a lot like um, never ending, not never ending story, fucking New Zealand story. You knob mad Commodore. Right, yes, yeah, like instant one hit death. You get a fair few number of lives though. Very pleasant, pleasantly surprised with this game, I have to say. It's kind of a bit like a, ooh, oh there's spikes, so that's a bit off-putting. Ah, we can do a level skip, I just remembered. It's not a multi-load, that's good. So... Yeah, I suppose if you was a little kid and uh, your parents got you a... Uh, you know, a used C64C or something. Which is actually quite a nice modern looking uh, machine, I, I thought. How many people bought that Daytel case that ripped off the uh, Commodore 64C uh, case? I actually have a Commodore 64C that I've made... Um, uh, I can't remember the exact name of the uh, paint, but... It's the same colour as the uh, colour of the C64 full size. Right, oh, that's a bit of a cuntish thing, isn't it? So have we found the floor? Ah, oh, no, no, ah, oh, bloody hell. That's what the problem there is. So that's all the learning curve, really. For a budget game, it's quite good. I mean, yeah, you could be finickety and say, look, these take forever. Ah, Jesus Christ, and... Uh, but there's no inertia like Mario, which is a good thing. I don't like inertia. I don't see the point in uh, games that uh, put real world physics in there and limitations. That's really why I don't like modern games. Your sprite is nice. There's not much else going on at the moment, really. So I'm guessing we have to go up there now. Oh, look, I've got some CDs. Uh, there's no CD purchases going on at the moment because uh, I ain't been to Poundland for a, a year. And they stopped doing new CDs, they're all used ones now. So it's a good thing you can move while you're in the air. So, um, yeah, is this like just a level, you know, where it's all about the jumping accuracy? No. Nah. There is stuff to shoot there. Don't seem to be getting them actually. Yeah, they take a hell of a lot of hits. Christmas baubles and a banana as your Christmas present. Because we wasted all our money on uh, four NES cartridges for you this Christmas. Ah oh, no. Well, at least uh, we didn't lose a life. Very colourful game, very nice actually. I could even make it look like, possibly look like the old uh, Amstrad CPC. Here you go. Oh, isn't that very colourful? But Mad Commodore, the C64 palette is very drab and muted. That's what the colour dial is on your TV for, mate. I hate it when people go on about that because it's just. That's usually people who are using uh, Win Vice. Ah, ah, just where I would lose a life, isn't it? Yeah, I actually like this game. It's a uh, pity Steg the Slug is not on there. I remember, uh, I think it was Commodore Format that was doing uh, a review on that. I remember uh, flicking through the review in WH Smiths, which I used to go all the time because. Uh, that was quite an attractive girl who worked there. 
Ah, to be young again, eh, mate? To be young again, where the yin and yang is footy anyway. Yeah, I can't remember what TV show stroke movie that is on. Keep the yang up. That was the joke. May have been the golden child, actually, but I could be wrong. I ain't seen that for so long. Oh, the camera hasn't moved that much. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Killer! Shh! See? Killer is uh, hearing his daddy's voice, who he is. He's trying to uh, get to to attack, so... We have a problem, Houston. So when I finish the whole house and all the rooms are going to be open, except for the room that's got most of my uh, box computers, I'm not really sure how I'm going to uh, sort them out. They don't exactly fit on the uh, bookshelves. Mm. So really, um, I don't actually want to go in there. Yeah, no, no, I was already in games. Here we go. By software publisher. Uh, hopefully they've left the uh, intro in. Uh, there's like an intro sequence for uh, CJ. I'm not sure if I've done all the commando knockoffs yet. I'm not even sure if I uploaded uh, the video for Purple Heart actually. Uh, there's the Codemasters game creation thing, which may have been like five quid, in which case it's a waste. It'd be a waste of time at two pound anyway. Um, I bet Arcade Flight Simulator is actually um, a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up. So I don't know if this is CJ in the USA, but Elephant Antics is the one that, yeah, look, intros there. So what's the other CJ then? Oh, we go with Elephant Antics. Too much CJ in one video is no good in it. So the weather conditions are right, so the universe has aligned. So I found two good platform games for uh, peanuts, really. For the actually, I'm not going to compare the price to cigarettes because today a pack of uh, twenty Bensons is probably one pound per cigarette inside the box. I reckon. I don't know how much cigarettes cost, but back then, um, I think it was about two and a half quid for a pack of twenty Bensons. I remember when I started working in the news agent, it was, uh, I think it was 79p for a pack of 10 cigarettes, although I don't know if they're 10 Bensons. Yeah, most of the time I used to read uh, Commodore Computing International whilst working in the news agent. Uh, but I didn't buy that, I see I'd spend my money on Zap, but I'd read all the other ones. So I'd read Commodore User, Commodore Computing International. No, it's not again. I do know this tune, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Oh, this is uh, Ecuador by Sash. I had to think about that because I'm like, yeah. Anyway, I don't know when this was hacked. You see, that's going to come up as a copyright strike, I reckon. So I've got to keep talking now. But that's quite a nice picture. Uh, yeah, picture's quite nice. The gamer's story, blah blah blah. Joystick port to only. Yep. Uh, I stop pause, blah blah blah. Okie dokie. So, as long as we have a level skip, that's all I really need. I'm hoping there's a level skip on this. Yeah, I prefer the uh, music from the crack tro, but we're not here for that.
there is there is no trainer options at all so you're only going to get to see the first level and if I'm going to play it with that sort of quality then we're a bit fucked really yeah call me Mr. Picky but that actually looks like a better quality uh, bit of pixel art than Mario on the NES Oh, it's a day of revelations. So we had two Mario games and one yesterday. Well, I guess we're not playing Zaga Mission because the cat's sitting on the uh, TV speaker again. This game is very playable. Oh no, the spikes. Yeah, they should really have done them a different colour. I think I said that on my uh, gameplay video I'd done yonks ago. Oh man. He's even got a little uh, umbrella animation. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh god damn it. There we go. Alright, oh, the one place I'm going is a, a bloody... Uh... Yeah, so you can actually move while you're falling as well. Oh damn it. You get quite a few lives. Oh man, it's very, very touchy on the old, uh, you know, the spikes. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Very. I want to get out in the clouds like Peter Petrelli, isn't it? Wow, the collision detection, that is a problem. It's almost like character based uh, collision detector. Yeah, it is. It's like a, a box around you. So, um, why didn't it show the intro actually? Yeah, this is a shit crack. I got this from uh, Game Base 64. So, uh, that is a very good game though. You should check it out. But go and find uh, different cracks CSDB, Planet Emu. There are alternatives, Ben Kenobi told me the other day. Buddy, you can't come through that bit. That's where the uh, disc drives for the CDTV. Ah, right, yeah. The, I bought this CDTV off someone. Where I bought a few things off. He told me it was fully working. But that, that disc drive, nah, that is not even remotely working. It doesn't even turn the uh, discs around. Shh! Stop going behind there. He's going a bit weird because he can hear his daddy. They're all having a bit of a hormonal spiv out at the moment. It's like a bloody uh, hen, hen night party or something in here. Yeah, God damn it, where's my bloody CRT glasses? I can't really review the graphics on these games. Anyway, we cut the video right there.